Welcome to day 15 of the Red Letter Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott. We are in the, the forgiving week of the challenge and we're looking at how God forgives us and how we should forgive others as well. It's a challenging topic to be certain. But we can't go out into the world to love the world unless we understand that we ourselves have been forgiven and need to forgive others. Our red letter verse today is judge not unless you want to be judged. Jesus says this as part of the Sermon on the Mount to the crowd gathered there on the mountaintop as, as an encouragement to them that they shouldn't go out in judgment because Jesus didn't come in judgment. We read in John 3, 17, Jesus didn't come to condemn the world, but to love the world, to redeem the world, to offer his grace and love for us. We have received that grace. So we shouldn't live in judgment of others. Quite often we have no idea what other people are going through. Pastor Zach tells a story about a, a woman who is buying a birthday cake using food stamps and, and the criticism that uh, she receives as a result later only to find out that her daughter was terminal and this would be the last birthday that they would celebrate together. How often do we see something and assume something without having all the facts? In my, uh, one of my seminary classes, one of my professors did not allow us to wear hats in class. And she said the only reason you could wear a hat is if you were undergoing chemotherapy. One day in class, one of my classmates had forgotten to take his hat off. And the professor said in front of everybody in class, how's chemo going? As a way of reminding him to remove his hat. It seemed a little judgy, especially when I remember that I had worked with a woman prior to that who had a condition that made her have no hair anywhere on her body, not on the top of her head, no eyebrows. She didn't have hair and she preferred to wear a hat is how she was most comfortable. She wasn't undergoing chemotherapy, but to see her, you wouldn't necessarily understand that. And if you prejudge that situation, you could draw a, law, a wrong the, our text goes on to say that we should remove the plank from our own eye before we judge other people. And I think we need to remove those planks from our eyes that we might have the vision that God has, a loving vision of other people. Why do we think the worst? Why do we always assume the worst of another's motives or understanding? God is a God of grace and love. And yet we, as the church, quite often are thought of as being as a, a gathering of people who judge. These doors should be an invitation to all people. There's a, an ad recently on television. I can't tell you who it's for because I don't remember, and they're not a sponsor. But it's for, for a gym, a workout gym. And it says this is a judgment-free zone encouraging people to come and work out there without the, the fear of being judged by other people. What would it be like if on the church doors it said, this is a judgment-free zone. Come just as you are, for God loves you. We love you and want to get to know you better. A judgment-free zone, a judgment-free life. I'll see you tomorrow.